You remember a lesson about the balance, eh? Yeah. A lesson not just karate only. Lesson for whole life. Whole life have a balance. Everything be better. Very, very true. Wise words spoken by Mr. Miyagi and then passed on to Daniel's son in Cobra Kai. Bonsai, I am the Cobra Kai kid and welcome to this live stream. First off, before we get into it, I just want to show off my new Cobra Kai sweatshirt. Uh, I just love wearing Cobra Kai stuff. So this is a new one. Very comfy. I got it off Amazon if you're wondering. So um, where, yeah, there you go. Cobra Kai Karate. It's a simple design, but it's comfy. And I, I like the simple. Um, sometimes when it gets too crazy, it's it's too crazy. So um, what is up to everybody in the chat? Hello. Thank you guys for joining for this special stream. Um, I'm really looking forward to this stream. I've done two of these before. This is going to be my third one um, where we talk about different topics. Uh, the first topic we discussed um, back... It, was, it must have been months ago, was uh, dealing with anxiety, depression, and fear. I believe those were the three. And then the next one we talked about dealing with bullying. And today, I want to talk about um, balance. Because finding balance is a very, very difficult thing um, just in, in your everyday life. And uh, it's something that I'm I'm – still like you know i i i haven't found balance uh i don't think you can ever like consistently find balance there's always gonna be something that throws you off balance um but it's about getting back on track and finding yourself again and um you know i'm going through that you know i'm sure some of you guys are too strike first what is up balance is crucial yes Balance is crucial. As Terry says, you know, even, te even Terry can be right sometimes. So, um, really good to see all of you guys. Um, thank you all for joining. So I want to talk to you guys, you know, I'll, I'll talk about some of my experiences. Um, and I want you guys to throw in some stuff in the chat that you want to talk about. Uh, if you guys are, you know, trying to balance things out in your life, um, it's a very difficult thing. It's a very difficult thing. And once again, I'm still trying to do it. So um, this whole discussion, you know, anything we talk about, you know, it's just to help, you know, just to talk and have a conversation. Uh, I am not, you know, I like to do these disclaimers. You know, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a licensed like, okay, this is what you got to do. Do this. And I'm not going to tell you that. I don't want to tell you what to do. But um, I know it can be difficult sometimes. Um feeling like, you know, maybe you don't have people to talk to or you talk to people, but it's still not enough. You're still struggling, finding that balance, finding yourself. Um, so hopefully you guys can be comfort free. This is a comfort. Wait, this is, yeah, this is, this is a, a safe space. So, um, you know, if you want to make like a random username, you know, I'm sure it's not going to matter if you comment, you know, it's not like nobody really will know who you are, but if you want to comment uh, under like an anonymous username, just so you can chat and we can talk, um, feel free to do so. And everyone in the chat, you know, let's show some love to everyone else. So if someone's like struggling, you know, let's help them out. We got, how many people do we have here right now? 44 people, you know, like let's, let's, you know, let's make it this a place where we got 44 friends all trying to help each other out. So I'll start off, you know, and then you guys can um, hop in and comment like, you know, things you may be going through, things you may be struggling with, and we can talk about it, try and, you know, figure it out and see like what, you know, what maybe like you could do, you know, to help, you know. So with me, you know, I'm constantly struggling to find balance. It's just a constant struggle, you know everyone it's a challenge for everyone and you know as miyagi says you know balance is like you know have balance having balance in your life is so important 
You know, it's like the key, it's the fundamental to, to living because when you get off balance, then that's when everything starts falling apart and it's going to happen. You know, it's happening to me, you know, um, but it's about picking yourself back up and also it's about loving yourself and doing what's best for you and just focusing on just focusing on yourself and you know what path you want to go down and sometimes it may not be easy sometimes you have to make sacrifices you have to do things that um maybe you don't know if you should do in order to find your balance but honestly you have to you have to make that decision based on whatever is best for you so it's not easy as daniel says but you'll do it and it's really not easy it, it it's not something that could come right away you know it's something that might take time but um you just got to just got to keep going so me specifically you know to get into specifics you know, you guys, you guys know I have this YouTube channel um, and I love it. It's so fun. It's so rewarding, but it also, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, you know, making videos, um, you know, being a content creator, being a, a video maker, you know, I'm working on a project right now. Um, it's actually a really cool project. It's a really fun project. I'm very excited for you guys to see it. And it's tough because, you know, I love making these projects, but when I do make these projects, it's tough to upload videos um like you know you know on a regular basis because i'm focusing on this one project that i'm putting a lot of time and effort into so that's where i have to find the balance of how do i make these creative projects that take a lot of time while still putting out content um on a regular basis and that's when it comes to me having to make the decision to okay if you're going to work on a project that you're putting all this effort into a project that could take you a week or two or a couple months or a year, then you, you're going to have to sacrifice those regular uploads. So that's something that I've learned is not to stress out too much about, oh, I didn't upload a video today. Oh, no. It's like, no, like it's about quality. It's about quality, not quantity. So, um. That's something that I learned and I'm still trying to figure that out. And then, you know, on top of it, you know, I, I'm going to school. I am doing a community service thing. I, you know, I've been trying to go to the gym regularly. I actually went twice today, which I'm very happy about. I'm trying to eat right. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to start meditating that's actually, you know, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I don't, you know, it's, it's, you know, I don't have too many people to share this with. So it's, it's nice to get it out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start doing like, I'm taking, I'm going to like take this meditation thing. It's like a, like a little, like there's like a little clinic, not clinic, but like a one-on-one -on -one meditation. I don't really know how to describe it, but something where, you know, Something that will help me find my balance, you know, um, because I, I, I have been struggling a little bit, you know, it, it's, it's not, you know, things may look one way on the outside, but then when you really look closely, like, listen, you can look at my channel and once again, I'm being, I, I want to be completely honest here. I don't want to hold things back. I don't want to BS you guys. So, you know, I like, I'll be honest, like. If someone were to first look at my channel and see, oh, wow, 204,000 subscribers, um, all those videos, met the cast, interviewed them, you know, yeah, that's really great. And it's like, you know, people may, might see that and be like, oh, wow, this, this guy has it all. But really, you know, the truth is I don't, you know, I, I've been going through a very rough month, um, you know, and, you know, a lot, just, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, just isn't isn't right so that's why you know my philosophy is like i i don't judge people based on what i see it's very easy to but um you have to remember that everyone's going through their own things even you know social media online it doesn't 
tell the story. It doesn't tell the story. If you see someone post a picture, you know, smiling, whatever, they're like, oh, like best time ever. That's the quote or whatever. Then like, you know, the reality, the re reality is maybe they're at home like crying every night because they don't have friends. You know what I mean? Maybe it's like they're trying to put on this thing. So it's it's always about not judging people, you know, based on like other things. So the truth is I'm I'm still trying to find my balance. But I you know, I haven't I haven't given up. You know, things have been very difficult, but the one thing I haven't done which it's so easy to do it. And I, I, I've, I've, I've done it a couple times, you know, when I've gone through things, which is just like lie down in bed for a couple days and just be depressed. It's so easy to do that. But honestly, it's not good. Like you gotta, it, it's tough, but you gotta, you gotta keep pushing yourself. You gotta keep, you gotta keep working on yourself and just don't give up. You know, as Johnny says, never give up. You can do this. I, I know you can do it. You got it in you, you know? So really, you guys could do it. So that's that's me, you know. That's me being honest. So I'm 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 getting there though. I'm getting there. And I have on and off days. That's a that's the important thing. You're gonna have on and off days. But um overall you will find that balance you know it might be like this one day it might be like this one day but one day you're gonna get it there and then when when you do get it there you have to remember what you did to get it there and then the next time something happens where you feel unbalanced then you have to try and do that again and try and find your balance so Justin Groh says, which more people would realize everyone's dealing with something in their lives. Why make life worse for anyone else by being a bully or gossiping about them? Life's hard enough. Yeah. It, 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 it's, you know, people, sometimes people just make life harder. Other people make life harder. It's like, especially this month for me, you know, I was dealing with things and then I was dealing with stuff and then other things happened. Other people did this and then other things happened to me. And I'm like, this is only just making it worse. It just all kept piling up. So really it's, it's, you just got to find that balance. It's, it's really tough, but, um, it's tough. It's not easy. Um, wait, wait, I think, did you comment something else before or no, that, that was the comment. Uh, I'm also taking a three part time college classes all online, thankfully. And I work most of the week and after work, I have homework and chores to do because of my intense hyper fixation on yet yeah, on it. Yeah. So right there, that's like college classes, work, homework, chores, now, it's like, that's so much right there. But you also got to make sure that you're um, doing things that, you know, that you want to do. Like, as much as you have going on, if those things, you know, some things you got to do in life that you just don't want to do. Um, I definitely do a lot of things that I don't want to do. But but you have to also make sure you're, you are doing things that you do want to do. And you have to take care of yourself. So, uh, Rian, Rianon? If, if, if you're doing all those things, you know, I understand you might be busy, but also try and, um, you know, try and, um, implement time for yourself, whatever it is you like to do. If you like to read, you know, throw in some reading in there. If you want to work out, throw in some working out in there. If you want to like watch some TV, you know, that that's. You know, TV is a good therapy, you know, 
it's not a bad thing every now and then to just put on some TV and, you know, get in that mindset. Um, Daniel says, sometimes it makes me upset when people tell me that being an obsessed fan of Cobra Kai is wrong. They tell me I should do something more productive in my weekends rather than watching Cobra Kai. Wait, what? Okay. Daniel, you got to forget them. Forget them. That is ridiculous. First off, what is their business? You know, what's their business? You know, if you're, if you're like, maybe if you're like, not hanging out with them and you're not getting outside. Maybe like they're trying to get, have your best interest in heart. Like, dude, like I know you like Cobra Kai, but like it's unhealthy. You're like staying inside all the time. You're not getting out. You're not getting fresh air. Like you're not hanging out with your friends. You're just watching Cobra Kai. Then, then I understand that. But if they're like, just, if you're just watching the show, like on your free time, then that, that's not their business. Like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being an obsessed fan of Cobra Kai. I'm, I'm obsessed with the show and, you know, no one will ever tell me like to not be, you know, I've had so many people tell me like, why are you so obsessed with the show? Like, calm down. Stop being so obsessed with it, bro. It's not a big deal. It's like, okay, it's not a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to me. So listen, that's, you know, that's your thing. Oh yeah, guys, I see some people in the chat saying, um, um, what's it called? I see some people saying it's, uh, Robbie's birthday today, not Tanner Buchanan, but Robbie. So that's a cool Easter egg. Happy birthday to Robbie Keen. Um, Rhiannon, I have severe combined type ADHD and I have a difficult time balancing my pressure, my pleasure time with my responsibilities. Oh, this was the first part of your comment that I didn't read. Sorry about that. For me, I love to write fan fictions in my free time. I can never get enough of working. Yeah, you know, it's it's tough. That's it's a difficult that's where the balance comes in. Um, but you know, you just gotta like no matter what, don't give up on it. You know, don't give up on the fan fictions. If that's something that you like to do, I know you have responsibilities. I know you, I know you, I know you have responsibilities, but if you just give up on all of your, um, all the things you love to do just to do those chores and things that make you unhappy, then what's the point? Some of those things you have to do, but also you got to really make sure you remember to do what you love. And you can always find some sort of balance in there. Even if you're doing it like writing fan fictions 20 minutes a day. I'm sure you have 20 minutes in your day. That's the important thing too is um, time management. You know, that's how you find balance. Um, so, you know, for example, I used to be really bad with the time management. I would procrastinate. And also I would wake up really late. I would put my shades down, wake up at like 11 a.m., 12 p.m. and i'd be like why did the day go by so fast i'm like yeah it's because you're getting up so late for me per for some people that's fine some people like to sleep in that's fine for me personally i like to do things i like to be busy so that's why i've been oh i open i've been opening my shades so the sunlight will wake me up um and i wake up at 8 30 every morning unless i have school where i have to wake up earlier and I get a I get a head start on my day. I get started right away. Um, I make sure to be efficient. I don't just sit around. I I I'm rarely in my bedroom. Like the only time I'm in my bedroom is to get dressed and go to sleep. I don't lie in my bed ever. So, you know, I just like to do things. The gym has been a very important thing right now for me. Uh, 
it's something that I've really been trying to get back into because, you know, I've fallen off. I was sick. I was going through this. I was away on vacation. It was all this stuff. And then, you know, sometimes you lose, you, you, you lose it. Like sometimes like, you know, you could work hard on something and then things happen and you, you fall off track. You just got to get back on track. So, you know, I'm not mad at myself. I did lose my progress, which always sucks. But at the same time, you know, life happens, things happen instead of dwelling on the past, just got to move forward. So I've been going to the gym, feeling good. Once again, I went twice today. So that, that, that made me feel really good. Um, so yeah, those are some of the things that I've done. And we have 70 people here right now watching. I just want to thank all of you for being here. And if you have anything going on, anything at all, you know, throw it out in the chat and we can discuss it. We could talk about it, you know, um, just have a conversation about it. You know, you got, you got 60, 70 supporters here, you know, everyone here is supporting. And if you're not supporting, then, you know, this isn't the place for you. I know it's not easy. You know, I'm, I'm, I know it's not easy sometimes. So Elliot says, I do karate and some people say I'm bad at it that, you know, don't listen to them, Elliot, you know, they're, 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 they're dumb. You know, you're, as long as it makes you happy, does it make you happy? Then that's what's, that's what's important. Don't worry about what they say. Justin Gross says, be honest, Drew, have things ever gone so overwhelming that you've ever considered shutting down the channel? I can imagine you get burned out sometimes, but it's got to feel good to have um, cultivated such a supportive community. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I ever... I mean, the only time I was like, considering like not making videos anymore was, was when I was getting a lot of hate on the channel. There was like there was a point where I just saw like a ton of hate towards my way. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but, um, but other than that, you know, I never decided, I never was like, you know, it, it's getting too overwhelming. Um, oh, well it definitely has gotten overwhelming, but that would never be a reason why I shut down the channel. I would, I would never shut down the channel, you know, a break, you know, I've definitely considered taking a break, like maybe like a week or two or a month off. Um, but honestly, I've 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 done a good job of not letting it get to that point. You know, I feel like it would things would have to be really, really overwhelming for me to have to take that much time off. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna keep finding my balance, so that won't have to be the case. You know, this channel has actually helped me in so many ways. So this channel is actually helping me find my balance. You know that that this channel has actually been a very great uh, finder in my balance. And if you guys make a YouTube channel. Maybe that will help you, um, find balance, you know, that might help you find your balance, making a YouTube channel. doesn't matter how many people are watching as long as you're doing what you love. L Turner says, do I ever feel pressure as a mascot <laughs> mascot of some sort for what is arguably the best show of our time? I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a mascot. Um, I'm not like, you know, blindly like cheering the team on. Like, I don't know. Just, like, you know, I'm just a regular fan. I'm not like, I wouldn't consider myself like a mascot. Like the representation, like always like, you know, I'm just doing my thing here on the channel. So, um, you know, I, I, do I feel pre I, it, it, it is a lot of pressure when like, I mean, actually, I don't know, not pressure, but it's, 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 a, it's a little crazy when like I'm doing a trailer reaction and I have like over like 3000 people, like all coming to see me react to the trailer live. It's like, wow. Like all these people care about me watching the trailer. And then when, when the, the Netflix Tadam event happened, there was like one point where I had like, like half of the people, or it was like maybe a 
one, I think it was actually like one tenth. Like, I think there was 10,000, maybe like, I don't remember exactly the numbers, but I think maybe at one point there was like 5,000 people watching the Netflix Tadam event where we were going to get um, the Cobra Kai trailer or it was Geet Week. It was one of those things. And then like a thousand of those people were watching my stream. So it was like a lot of those people were there just to watch my stream. So that's pretty crazy, pretty nerve wracking. Um, I've gotten used to it though. I've gotten used to it because like, listen, it's just, I just see the number, like the number appears right there for me, you know, right now it's at 79. Um, and then I see 85 on YouTube. So it's different. Now it's 85. Okay. So the number, the number is just a different number and it's a little more pressure, but you know, I, I go about it the same. I don't, I don't really change what I do. Hi, I'm Jay. I took a picture with you at the Cobra Kai Con. Oh, awesome. So cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks for being here. Glad that I met you. Doing exercise and catching up on school is a hard thing to balance. It's a very hard thing to balance. I'm going to, I will be honest with you. And even in high school, high school is the hardest. Uh, high school, it's, you wake up at like 6 a.m. You're there till like 3 p.m. That's not easy. That is not easy. And, and I am like, so against that i'm so against that school is important you got to go to school i understand that but do you really need to start schools at 7 45 or 7 30 or 7 or like schools should start at like nine o'clock or 8 30 you know i i believe that if school is starting in the seven o'clocks it's unhealthy and that this is a different stream for another time, but you know, my, my school rant, but you know, to, to talk about what you're saying, doing exercises and catching up on school as much as that sucks, you kind of got to just, sometimes you got to deal with the cards that you're given and know that it won't last forever. Like soon you're going to get out of school, high school and go on to college or whether you're in middle school um you'll have summer break but exercise is definitely important and you know what there's no pressure to do like three hours workout two hour workout like you know i used to feel like so like i need to be at the gym for two hours every day but it really overwhelmed me when i did that so now what i've been doing is i've been going to the gym every day for an hour sometimes less sometimes more but I don't, I don't, I don't push it to two hours like I did in the past because then it really burns me out and it doesn't make me want to go every day because it's, it's so draining on my body. But as long as I'm constantly working out and putting effort into that one hour, not going on my phone while I work out, then that's, that's what's important. That's what you got to do. So, um, you know, try and try and exercise. I know you got school, but keep exercising. And, you know, if you have to cut it down, you know, like, like make a plan for yourself three days a week, four days a week, even two days a week, anything, anything is better than nothing. And then you can do a 30 minute workout. You can do an hour workout, 15 minute workout. Anything is better than nothing. And also like maybe like 30 push ups in the morning and then at night, you know, anything. Why was I getting hate? It it that's what it is. That's just what it is. I I I used to take it personally, but now I don't. Now I just it's whatever. And that's like, you know, that's kind of an indicator that like, you know, you do grow and you do like 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 it kind of it, it's show me that like, you know, things change. Sometimes you think things will never change. But I used to think like, you know, I would always get hate and that it would always affect me. And now I don't really care if someone hates me. It's like, whatever. I, it, that's what, that's your opinion. And if you're so focused on hating me, you must have something going on in your life that's making you have all this anger that you're putting it out on me if I haven't done anything to you. So I understand that. And, you know, I'm fine with it. And I, I still wish everyone the best, even if you do hate me, I still... I don't want anything ill will towards you. So 
H train says I'm fat and people said I can't do karate. Look at Cobra Kai. You know, look at Miguel. Miguel in the season one, Miguel was a weakling, but look at him now. He's able to do karate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your size, your shape, gender, ethnicity. It doesn't matter if you're gender neutral, she, her pronouns. The only pronouns in this dojo are student and sensei. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. But you know what I mean? It, it's it's not about that. You know, as, as Yoda says, now we're quoting a little Star Wars, size matters not. It really doesn't matter. You know, there's so many examples of people out there, you know, of all shapes and sizes and all anything, ages that do karate. Look at Mr. Miyagi. Everyone made fun of Mr. Miyagi, Terry Silver, Kreese. No one took him seriously. Chosen. Look at this dude. He's an old man. He can't do karate. I've been I've been training. I'm young. I'm fit. You know, that's Chosen's mentality. And then look what happens. You know, it doesn't matter. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Cobra Kai talk, I have bad ADHD and it makes me, and it makes it so I can't fall asleep till like 1 a.m. So I don't wake up till 10 and it makes me mad because it makes it so I can't do as much during the day. Hmm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, you definitely got to make sure you get enough hours of sleep. You know, I understand you. Um, if you're not able to fall asleep, I understand you not setting an alarm. If I'm going to sleep, at 1 a.m. Hopefully I don't have anything the next day. If I were to have something the next day, I wouldn't set an alarm because I know I would need to get my full sleep. That's the worst thing is when you set an alarm and you haven't gotten your full sleep, like enough hours, it's, it's really bad for your body and it screws you up the whole next day. I would, um, I would go to sleep really late and you know, it's like, even though sometimes you're not tired, and like you're, you're, you feel fine. This is just me. This is just me personally. Um, some people are different. I know some people that could go to sleep at 3 a.m., wake up at 10, and they'll be fine. For me personally, if I went to sleep at 3 a.m. and woke up at 10, it doesn't matter what time I woke up. For me to go to sleep at 3 a.m. would ruin me the next day. I wouldn't go to the gym. I would have no motivation to make videos and look at a screen. I would, I would be a mess. It would ruin my whole next day. And that's not fair to do that. So I've really been um, trying to get good sleeps now. Go to sleep by 11, the latest. Um, now, Cobra Kai Talk. Maybe you can try different things that um, to put you to sleep. You know, Maybe if you're like watching TV before bed. I, I saw something online like that, you know, looking at electronics, which I'll be honest, I do. Um, before bed, it's not good for you. And it might not make you like tired, but something like, I, I, I don't, I don't know if this isn't for everyone, but I'm pretty sure I read this somewhere. Like something like reading, reading might make you tired. Like find things that could make you tired. You know, I'm, they have like websites online, like how to fall asleep faster. Maybe like listen to like some like meditation music or like sleeping sounds, like stuff like that. Like maybe you, there's different things. And also like, um, are you going to sleep? Like, at an early time? Are you getting in bed at an early time? Are you unplugging from all your devices? Or maybe, maybe like work out before, maybe work out before you go to bed. You know, maybe if you work out before you go to bed, it'll make you tired, things like that. So, um, Rian, Rianon, um, thanks for your words, Drew. You're the best around, man. Also screw the haters. They just can't leave all enough alone. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, you little twerp? No, you just had to push it. Well, now you're going to pay. I love that. BK Productions, what is up, my man? Do what you love because you have it in you to continue. People don't know you. So if they make fun of you, they miss out. Yeah. Yeah. If people are making fun of you, they don't, they don't know the real you. So... 
NSX Productions. I've been doing karate for two weeks, and people have been saying my weight is not karate type, and that I'm so fat and slow. Yeah, we we just we just talked about that. We just talked about that. Remember, Mr. Miyagi, Miguel, like you know, none of these guys, like you know, people would look at and be like, "Oh, these are karate. These are guys who are really good at karate." Even Daniel, look at Daniel. You know, Daniel wasn't doing any karate in the beginning of the film. It doesn't matter, you know, shape, size, any of that. It doesn't matter. Keep doing your thing. Daniel says, I have a YouTube channel where I analyze topics about the NBA. Oh, that's really cool. And I work as a karate instructor three times a week. Wow. Along with school, social life. And starting volunteer work soon as well. Balance is key. Wow, Daniel, that is really awesome. You've got a lot of good stuff going on there. And whenever you lose balance, remember those good things, which is something that I also I've been trying to do. You know, when I whenever I lose my balance, I try and think of um instead of thinking about the things I don't have, I try and think about what I do have. And you know, what I have is um a healthy lifestyle. I have family that cares for me. I have an awesome YouTube channel, a platform, a home. You know, I'm very fortunate for what I have. And sometimes things are going to happen where it's like, dang, I wish I had that. I, I Sometimes it doesn't matter what you have because things are going to happen to you and you'll be upset. And that's fine. That's perfectly normal. Just just you have to go back to the happy things to um to get you back on track and yeah you got a lot of good stuff going on here so that's really cool i like the 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 diversity too is actually really important and daniel you seem to have a lot of that um youtube channel about nba doing karate um school social life they're different like all those things volunteer work all those things are completely different and it adds a lot of dynamic and it adds new things, new perspectives and just freshness into your life. When you begin to do the same things over and over and over and over again, it gets repetitive. It gets boring. That's when you start to get depressed. So finding balance, you know, it's, it's about just mixing it up. And sometimes you got to put yourself in situations that maybe you won't necessarily be comfortable in. I've had to do that just recently, put myself in a situation that I knew would hurt me, that I knew, you know, it's a decision that, you know, things that you just don't necessarily want to do, but things that you have to do, even if it's not easy, even if you end up hurting, even if it's, even if it costs you, you know, some time and just, it's, it's, you just got to focus on the good stuff is what I'm getting at. <laughs> even, even though some people doubt me in karate or even though some people doubt me in karate, do I think you can get your orange belt? Oh yeah, you could get your orange belt. Do you think you could get your orange belt? That's the question. I could say that, but. I could I could say you're gonna get your orange belt, but do you think you're gonna get it? That's that's more important. Oculus says, bro, this is so off topic. Nothing off topic. If you have any any situation going on, um, it's your life. That's that's your balance. So any situation is is fine. So um, don't worry about it. Bro, this is so off topic, but there's this girl who I FaceTimed a lot and then ghosted me losing all my confidence. Your videos are the only thing that keep me going. Please respond. It would mean a lot. Well, I'm I'm glad my videos are helping you to keep going. I, I'm I'm sorry about um the girl. Um, do you know like what happened? Did she really ghost you? Like, have you talked to her in person? Like did you find out maybe try and find out like what's going on you know why why instead of like just giving up maybe there's a reason for it if like if you're seeing like you know she's just ignoring all your stuff then yeah maybe just let it go but if if 
if you see her in person, you could say, Hey, and then just see what happens from there. You know, just see if, and if she's not into you, then, then, you know, there, there's, there's going to be other people for you. You know, that that's not the one for you. And that's, that's, that's a difficult thing to, you know, to lose someone who you care about and to, to really, you know, you hear that all the time. Like you'll find the one, you'll find the one. So it's like, I know you hear that, but you just got to, you got to do your own thing. You got to be patient and you got to focus on yourself and then things, good things will come. Matthew Spears. Hey Drew, I really like doing art and would like to make a career out of it, but I'm having trouble balancing it with play with my friends online and outside. I just don't know what to do. Um, how are you having trouble balancing it? Like what specifically you'd like to do art as a career? You want to play with your friends online and outside? That's something where, you know, that's all about time and time management, scheduling, you know, putting time aside for yourself and your friends. Um, what the? That's weird because on YouTube it says there's 71 people in here. And right here it says there's two people here. So that's very strange. There's definitely not two people in here. Oh, now it went back to 75. That was very strange. Um, but that's something where you, you got to, um, you know, time management, don't let it overwhelm you. Don't just let it like all consume you. Um, put aside time for your art and put aside time for your friends. Try and find that balance. This is a good question. Which character in Co what character in Cobra Kai found the most balance in season four, in my opinion? That's a great question. Found the most balance. Found the most balance. Well, I think Johnny is like, you know, Johnny definitely found balance, you know, with that scene at the end with his, with, I just, with his son, you know, with Robbie coming back, that definitely, you know, he was here, you know, he was always going to be here, you know, because his son, you know, is one of the most important things in his life and hated him forever so his son coming back to him that that definitely balanced it out you know how long will that balance last we don't know probably not too long knowing this show but you know it's it's i think johnny definitely had a great arc and he found balance in season four Um, how will I ever balance Cobra Kai and Star Wars once Obi-Wan comes out? No pressure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been, I haven't been, um, on Star Wars kid too much. Uh, you know, I've been busy with this channel. It's been like this channel is my main priority. So uh, Star Wars kid, you know, and once again, I have so much going on. It's not like YouTube is my only thing that I'm doing. Um, if I were, if this were like my full time career, I can just do this all the time. Then I would be making videos all the time, having all these different channels. But um, that's not what I'm doing right now. You know, maybe we'll get there one day. Maybe we won't, but we'll see. Joe Schmo says, to this is to NSX Productions, which really awesome, Joe. Thank you for, um, you know, this is awesome, guys. You know, 
when we talk about someone, you know, give them some, give them some motivation, you know? So I love this comment. Don't worry. And don't listen to those people. It doesn't matter if you have brute strength or not, just keep going. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Anthony says, thank you so much for making this live stream. I've been having a tough time balancing school and other things. I've been stressed out, but this live stream is making me feel better. I'm very glad to hear that, Anthony. That actually really makes me feel so good that this is making you feel good. And, you know, that, that's important. I'm, I'm, I'm glad this is making you feel better because I can't tell you that it's going to always be great. You know, you're, you're going to have trouble balancing things sometimes but but look for the things that make you happy and if this stream is making you feel good then good i'm so glad if watching cobra kai makes you feel good then watch cobra kai you know you have to find that happiness to to help that balance so anthony i i hope things get better things will get better um keep you know keep keep pushing keep moving forward and don't give up. Don't don't just settle. Don't don't just like let all that stress and all that. Don't just don't let the stress win. I'm sure there's little things you can do to balance school and other things. School, you have school. School is your school is there. But the things that are up to you, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with the time outside of school? That's your decision. What are you going to do with that time? Lily says, I am your biggest fan. Oh, wow. I I appreciate that. That is very nice of you. Thank you, Lily. I'm very nice. Thank you. BK Productions. I'm legally blind, have cerebral palsy, a seizure, a seizure disorder, and more. I never, I never give up. Still trying to make a season four retrospective video, but I can be down and out for weeks at a time. I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about that, BK. And that's, that's very tough. That's very tough. You know, things, th some, sometimes like uh, you know, you have things like that which you can't control, which it's so hard. And I'm, I'm sorry, but. You know, BK from the, I've spoken to you multiple times, you know, you're, I appreciate the support on Patreon. I, sh I appreciate the support on my live streams. I've had conversations with you. You're a very genuine person, very nice person. And, you know, that, that is, that's, that's special. That is special. You know, you're a special dude. So take all the time you want. I know you're going to make that retrospective video i know you're gonna make it even if you're down and out for weeks i know you're gonna make it and when you do make it it's gonna all be worth it so very excited for to see that so you're awesome man do i ever feel like my parents can put my do i ever feel like my parents can put me down criticize me and tell me that i can't do this um i am fortunate enough and if there's anything in the world I could have asked for, you know, it would be this. And that's support for my family. I'm very fortunate I have support for my family. And it's it's hard when I hear about people that don't, you know, some people don't have support from their family for things that they want to do. You see it on TV. You hear it in the news. And that's so sad because, you know, your family, that's who you turn to. That's the first person the first people that you turn to in situations so you know you just have to be true to yourself and you know don't let anyone put you down no matter what never let anyone put you down
Um, Joe Schmo, I don't want to put my issues on you. You're not putting my is your issues on me. Do not worry. That's that's why we have this stream, you know, to just talk about everything. And you know, when I bring something up, you know, I want to talk to you and converse with you, see if I can help. And you know, people in the chat will help too if that's what you want. So you're you're not putting your issues on me. Like that's literally the purpose of this. Your brother is miserable at school, and I try to make things better for him. I just imagine him flipping the script like Hawk. That is important right there, that you are there for him. And that's awesome, Joe, because it's it's. I'm glad that you see that because, you know, sometimes you have family members who go through things and, you know, their other family members aren't there supporting them. The fact that you are noticing your brother is having a tough time at school and that you're trying to make things better for him, that must mean so much. That must mean so much to him. Because if he if he's having trouble making friends, if he's having a tr tough time with this, he will always have you to go to. And if you make him feel better, if you give him that attention, make him laugh, make him smile, it's up to you. And you know sometimes it's a lot of pressure. Sometimes it's tough. But you know that that that's honestly really big of you, Joe. If you're if you're willing to sacrifice yourself, and you know maybe maybe you've got homework to do maybe you're gonna hang out with your friends but then you see your brother is going through a tough time and you're like you know what my brother needs me right now like that that's sacrifice and that's that's a beautiful thing you you do you do anything for your family so joe your brother if you just be there for him and he'll flip the script like hawk that's awesome If people make fun of you, it's because they're jealous of you. You need to understand you are smart and awesome and badass. Not showing me Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. Yeah, exactly. Don't let anyone make fun of you because um, you, yeah, they're probably just jealous. You're awesome. Cobra Kai talk. My parents are going through a divorce, so I'm in a channel to help me a lot going through that. I'm I'm very sorry to hear that, but I'm I'm glad that you are that you have your channel and that it's helping you. You know, some things in life are inevitable. You just gotta keep keep pushing and doing things that make you happy. <laughs> Daniel says, I was taught that you have truly succeeded once you get hate. That's true. I mean, I, 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 I believe that. I believe that strongly. You know, no one's going to hate you if you're like irrelevant, you know? So listen, if, if, if I'm getting hate, I must be doing something right. So Great stuff here, man. I'm a huge Cobra Kai and Karate Kid fan as well. I have a YouTube channel and I've gone through a lot of Karate Kid and Cobra Kai collection. Checking out, man. Nice. Awesome. Awesome with your YouTube channel. I'm doing my degree in classical music and being a Cobra Kai fan has made me listen to 80s rock even more than classical. But Terry liking classical has made me find balance and listening to both genres equally. Yes, that's that's a great example of balance. Balance in music, you know, balance in different styles. You know, that was season four. Season four, the whole theme was balance in Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang. And I love this example. I probably have the most balanced musical um taste ever my playlist if you guys look at my playlist my playlist ranges from the weekend to high school musical to star wars to cobra kai to bon jovi acdc to harry styles joshua bassett sprinkle some olivia rodrigo in there she's pretty good I got everything on my playlist. So balance in music is definitely something that I have. And I think I'll always have that. 
So you can bring the only music I don't really listen to is rock. No, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. I take that back. Rap. Sorry. I do listen to a lot of rock. Rap. I don't really listen to rap. I like, um, you know, some songs like, you know, your palms are sweaty, Whitney's arms are heavy, got vomiting on sweater already, mom, spaghetti. You know, I know that. I like that. Uh, I actually, I took hip hop class and that was, that was a song I danced to. So that's why I know the words to it. Um, but yeah. Aryan says, Drew, sometimes I can't balance my schoolwork and exams with my acting classes and film workshops and also because I've never been a very good student at school. Just not a fan of it. Yeah, Aryan, you see right there, that that's it's tough. But here's also what you got to ask yourself too. If things are getting really, really overwhelming, like really overwhelming, where no matter what, it's like I'm never going to find balance. Like, I have way too much going on. Sometimes you have to think like, am I doing too much right now? So school, work, and your exams. You have to do those things. Acting classes and film workshops. I know you're into that. I know you're into that. And that's awesome. But you have to like ask yourself, like, I don't, I don't know. You know this. I, I, I don't know your schedule, but how, how much of that are you doing? Are you doing multiple acting classes? Are you doing multiple film workshops? Because it's good to have that in your life. But if you're doing too much of that, maybe if you if you take away this one thing that you that you enjoy doing, but it's like it's adding too much stress and that you don't necessarily need in order to focus on your other things, that might help a lot. So sometimes you got to weigh out when to um when to stop doing something because you don't love it anymore if it's becoming too much because listen i like to do a lot of things but if i were i like to play the guitar right but if i were to take guitar lessons i like to play basketball if i were to do basketball training and then have school so if i were to take guitar lessons do basketball training school extracurriculars um cobra kai kid going to the gym it's like it's too much. And it's like, no matter what, even though I enjoy doing all these things, it's like, no matter what, I'm never going to find balance. I need to maybe sacrifice something. So if these are things that you have to do, then <clears throat> you'll just have to kind of like have to play your schedule around it. But maybe taking one thing away will help you and free you up. So just think about that. You have to weigh out your options and see what's best for you. You've been a fitness trainer for 15 years and I'm giving out solid advice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Aaron says, I went to the gym twice in one day. What kind of routine do I do? That was only today. I never do that. Uh, I went. I went this morning because... I had an online class at like one o'clock. So I was like, you know what? I'm not really doing anything now. I'm just going to go to the gym for an hour. So I just went to the gym for an hour. So I pushed myself and then I actually went back at like four o'clock um, to work out with a friend. So that was cool. Um, usually I don't work out with people. Usually I work out with myself. Um, but I asked someone to work out. We worked out together. And it was fun. So hopefully I'll do it again. You know, it, it, it helps to, you know, you know, sometimes I like to be in my own space, work out, focus on myself, but also in other times I like to work out, you know, even though I don't do it really much, you know, working out with someone else, having someone to talk to, it gets your mind off of other things that maybe you don't want to be thinking about. So that's, that was, that was nice. So usually I don't go to the gym twice in one day. My, my routine is I will, I've been trying to go every single day. If I can't go one day, I don't go. I don't I don't push myself. If I can't go, I can't go. If life happens, life happens. But if I can go, I will go. And you know, even if I can only go for 30 minutes, I'll try and go for 30 minutes. Um, but I try and go for at least an hour. I don't go, I don't look at my phone when I work out. I do full workouts. Um, I listen to slither, you know, on repeat, like a dance, burning heart, head games, nothing but a good time. Um 
two heads are better than one. I want to be somebody like all the songs from Cobra Kai. So, um, that's, that's what I do. Hello from St. Louis. Hello, Jason. L. Turner, that's some good advice for um, anyone. Yeah, anyone dealing with relationships, anyone dealing with men or women. First, learn yourself and how do you know who's for you unless you know who you are? Yeah, that's important to know who you are before you, um, you know, start seeing other people because, you know, how are they going to get to know you if you don't even know you? So, BK Productions. I'm listening. I'm listening to you, and you're quite older. Um, and you're, wait, what? I'm quite older insider than I what? I what? Oh, I think I get what you're saying. Like I'm like I'm acting insider. I'm acting older like than I actually am. Like like with my I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think I get what you're saying. Eli gained the balance, found his true self in season four. He did. He really did. I think season five, you know, we'll explore that more. You know, look at him at prom. He had no date. He was miserable. You know, he joined Miyagi-Do Karate, but he still didn't have that confidence. Now he's now he's an all-valley champ, dating Moon, Miyagi-Do star, you know, like best fighter. You know, he's proven he's one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter. He's awesome. He's got his balance. Cobra Kai Karate. I've been really busy. Oh, I like the, <laughs> I like the, um, <laughs> Doc wearing the, Cobra Kagi, that's very funny. I've been a really I've been really busy and it's hard doing stuff like YouTube and filming. Do you have any advice to balance it all? Or do I have to let some go let some stuff go for a while? Yeah, that might, you know, it's it that's your it's ultimately up to you, but that maybe that might be best is taking a break from um YouTube and filming. You know, don't be too stressed on yourself that you gotta be doing that. If you have other things going on that are more more important, and like let me, you know, maybe it's best to say, let me deal with this now, and then once I deal with this, then I could put all my attention on YouTube and filming because you don't want to. If you're busy with all your other stuff, you don't want to do YouTube and filming if if it's not going to make you happy or if you're going to not really put any effort into it. You have to make sure you're doing it if it's still making you happy. So, um. And you can always manage to work on it a little bit. You know, There's, you could always squeeze in a little time. You know, you got to schedule it out. And, you know, if you like to do YouTube and filming, maybe the big projects that you do that you put a lot of time and effort to wait till you get more available to do that. So you're not adding more to your plate. I've done that so many times where I've said, you know what, I'm going to do this project that's going to take me a month to make and I have to release it on this day. And it's like, oh yeah, but I also have this going on, this going on, this going on, and this going on. Why did I, why am I putting this on myself? Sometimes I put too much on myself and I've, I've learned not to do that. I've learned sometimes I do because that's just what it is. Honestly, you're not always going to have it where it's going to be the perfect schedule where you're, where you're free to just do whatever. But, um, you know, you have to just figure out what is best for you and just balance, you know, if you can do it and if you can't do it. So what kind of microphone is this? This is a Shure SMB7, 7B. 
sure. SM7B. Rory, my health hasn't been good for a few years. Not able to do things I enjoy as much or get out to places. Have enjoyed the Cobra Kai show discussing topics online and possible theories. I'm I'm very sorry about your health. I, I really hope you get better. And um that that that's great that you, you found at least you found comfort in Cobra Kai discussing topics online, theories. You know, that that's 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 awesome. And you're gonna find more stuff to enjoy and it will make you feel better and things that will just help you, you know, but Cobra Kai has definitely brought a lot of people together. What is your advice for when you don't get the results you want numbers wise from a YouTube channel? Eh, it's, it's not about that. You know, it's really not, you gotta, if you're, if you're looking at numbers, you know, that's when it starts to become it. Then it, it, it's not true. You know, you want to make content that makes you happy. If you feel like you made the best video ever, then there you go. I, you know, I made a fan film with my friend. Uh, some of you guys may be familiar with it. A Star Wars Baby Yoda fan film. And uh, if you guys want to go check that out, uh, it's on the DJ show. Just search up DJ show. You can find it. Um, anyway, when we made that video, we spent over a year on it and you know, we were like, you know, this has got to hit like a hundred thousand views, like a million views. This is the best thing ever. And we still feel like that. We're so confident in it. And it got 7,000 views, which, which is a lot. And it's still growing. It's still really great. You know, it wasn't what we thought. And, you know, we could have just been like, you know, dang, like didn't get the viewership. That sucks. Films trash, but we're so proud of the film that even though we felt like it deserved this, because sometimes you're going to make videos that you're like, it, this deserves so many views. This this deserves so much people to see it and to like it. But ultimately, you have to be ready. Even if you don't get that, you have to still be proud of what you do. And that's that's how I feel. I'm so proud of that film, whether it got one view or two views or 7,000 views. I'm so proud of it. So be proud of what you do. Cobra Kai Karate, my dream is to be an actor and a filmmaker, but I think I will get nervous going to an audition. Do I have any advice? Um, auditioning for acting. Well, there's online. You could audition online, actually. Um, you know, when, when, when you, if you get casted, obviously the nerves, that's something that you'll have to work through. Hopefully when you like begin the acting, you'll be fine, but you can do online auditions where you don't actually have to go in person. So that that's a good way of um, doing it. So you're not nervous, you know, you're doing it just in front of a camera. You can search that up and look, look for that. Um, Freddie Fernandez. <laughs> hey, Freddie Fernandez. <laughs> hey, Jarrell, I like this girl in my school, and she told my friend she don't like me back. I haven't had a one-on-one -on -one conversation yet, and I don't have the confidence to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, that's a tough one. She told my friend she don't like me back. 
it's up to you, man. It's up to you. If 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 you think that you can win her over, you know, if you think that like, you know, like this girl hasn't given me a chance, then go for it. You know, don't talk to the friend, talk to the girl. And if she rejects you, she rejects you. But if you can give it a try with the girl, you know, if if, if you think, you know, I I I can give this to a relationship or like you know, go for it. You know, why should the friend stop you? So my favorite Joshua Bassett song. Oh, I have too many, too many. Um, that, that's a really tough one. My go-to might be like, do it all again. But like right now, like crisis set me free are freaking amazing. And I like it, like his unreleased songs, like easily replaced. So all that. I'm like the only guy you know of who doesn't listen to rap, but a lot of it has become toxic these days. Yeah, that that's not why I'd, I don't listen to it. I just it's just not like it just doesn't have any substance for me at least. Some some rap songs are like good, but some but I feel like a lot of them just sound the same and don't really have too much to it. So that's that's just me personally. Aryan says, I do acting classes every alternate day for two hours and film workshop every weekend, but now I feel I'll have to cut down some acting classes because senior year is important. Yeah, I mean, listen, I I, I know you enjoy doing it all, but it's up, it's going to be up to you to decide, are, are you physically able to do it all and like not be like so overwhelmed? Or are you going to, is it like, you got to cut down on one thing because maybe cutting down on one thing will really make you feel better. Like if there's something that, you know, you don't have to do, try it because you seem very busy. You seem like you got a lot going on. So. Arion, I did not see that. I will check it out though. I did not see it. I did not see it, but I will I will I'll look back for that. How do I balance school on the channel? I <coughs> well sorry. I don't leave my school work till the last minute. And eh, sometimes I do, but I, I get it done when usually when it's assigned and I knock it all out and I time management. I actually did something really cool, which, and really like something that I've really needed to do. Um, this is something I've always wanted to do and I did it and I'm very happy with it. I got a planner and that, that might be the first step. That might be something that you guys, maybe that'll help you guys. So I got, I got this planner, you know, and it, and it's, you know, it has the, the date, the month and the, the day, and then there's different times and I've been using it. And it's really helped, you know, to manage my live streams, my classes, my schedule, my uh, community service stuff. It, it's it's all been very helpful. Um, so maybe getting a planner is one thing. You know, I know there's count like why why can't you use your calendar on your phone? Like like literally, my dad's like, why can't you use your calendar on your phone? Like that's what the phone is for. Me personally, I like hard copy stuff better, and I think I think sometimes that helps more, you know, seeing things and like writing it down, seeing it in a person. I don't like notifications on my phone. Um but I do that sometimes too as well. Um
I should become a therapist. I am not a therapist and I probably will never be a therapist. I'm not going to school for that. So, um, don't take my words as facts. They're just advice and stuff that I can give from my personal experiences. Why do people hate me? I just get hate for my height and for my diagnosis. And now I have cancer. I just feel all on. I wish I could. I wish I just stopped getting karma. Karma. Karma for what? What did you do wrong? It, I, don't, I don't know if it's karma. I, I Sometimes things happen and it's so unfortunate. But, you know, I could tell you this right here. You know, you have 60 people here in this chat, you know, who don't hate you, who love you and who are here for you. So for, I'm pretty sure that that's more people that love you than that, that you say hate you. It's more people that love you than hate you. And that will always stand out. So everyone show Eagle Fang fans in the chat some love. We're here for you. I'm a Joshua Bassett fan. Yes, I am. Big Joshua Bassett fan. I was just, I was literally just listening to him before this stream. I was listening to his video on Ellen um, when he was like making up songs. Like that dude, so talented in music. And if you guys want to watch, um, he's also a very good uh, conversationalist, and he gives. He's, he's went through some personal stuff and he's, he's taught a lot, a lot of, um, he's talked a lot about a lot of meaningful stuff and he gives some pretty good advice based on his life experiences. So good person to, um, listen to and be inspired by. I've also got a YouTube channel. I haven't got many subscribers, any suggestions, how I could get more. Um, keep making the content you love, um, and put heart into it, you know, promote it, get an Instagram, get a Twitter, you know, tell your family about it, tell your friends, uh, make good thumbnails, channel banner, um, make sure to tell people to subscribe in your videos and it'll come and make sure you have a clear niche, make sure people when people see your channel, they know exactly what your channel is about and why they should go there. L Turner says, Freddie Fernandez, you'd come a lot, you'd come off a lot cooler. If you have a nonchalant attitude about girls in general, this will ease the pressure away, which is good because you're going to need confidence to attract girls yes confidence is key women are attracted to confidence anyone's attracted to confidence really When was the last time I said a curse word? Well, I could say one right now. I'll say it right now. I'll say it right now. No, Sensei! Okay, fine. I won't. <laughs> no, I don't like to curse. I'm not. I'm. I don't curse. Aryan Sharma, this is kind of off topic, and I don't know if I should share it, but I've been called gay for listening to One Direction and wearing a Cobra Kai hoodie. I mean, it's so sad. Yeah, Aryan, I, I, I'm sorry. It's, you know, it's really sad. Like, a lot of people, I hate, you know, I hate the, the, the expression, oh, that's so gay, that's so this. Like, it's just messed up for people to just, like, you know, for people to have interests and stuff like listen like 
you know, I, I like high school musical doesn't make me gay. Like I'm just into high school musical, you know, sure. It's, you know, you know, a lot of people like high school musical. That's what I grew up with as a kid. Even I, if, even if I like the Powerpuff Girls, which, which I don't, I don't really watch Powerpuff Girls. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Maybe a little. No, I don't. I, I really don't. I really don't. But like, I don't know. SpongeBob. Like, it doesn't matter. No, but you're not. It doesn't matter what you watch. It doesn't matter what you watch. One Direction, by the way, is amazing. Uh, their songs are freaking badass. So like, I don't, I don't. There's nothing like, like you don't, you don't tell someone they're this or they're that for liking One Direction. Like, if you like One Direction, you have good music taste. That's what it is. So it's like. Like you're not you're not any sexuality for liking or yeah you're not any sexuality for liking one direction it's just it's like ridiculous and also cobra kai like what it's just ignore them arian ignore them they're 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 so they're annoying they're immature anyone who says that is immature and annoying and those are people that you don't want to be around and you don't want to listen to so do i like spider-man yes i do Justin B, sorry I just arrived. Glad the stream is still going. Another important discussion to have. Balance in life is a key concept in Karate Kid and Cobra Kai too. Yes, exactly why we're doing this stream. So glad you arrived. Uh, Justin B, do not apologize for being late. You were never late. What foods do I like to eat? Uh, I like chicken, burgers, steak, pizza, pasta, uh, ribs, french fries. All the unhealthy stuff. <laughs> oh, God. And candy. I like candy. Tylee says, thank you, Drew. You are such an amazing YouTuber. I can't explain how much you helped me in so many ways. This channel brings me the most joy and you were the best oh thank you tylee oh that that really ah oh, makes me very emotional very thank they very thankful for that thank you <laughs> how do i bounce my paralyzing fear of spiders with my newfound love for spider-man <laughs> oh man I don't, I don't relate the two. I don't relate the two. Um, no, seeing a spider in person is very different than Spider-Man. Those do not relate. But yes, I am terrified of spiders. What type of approach should I use? Robbie, Miguel, or Kenny? Um, oh, for, for your girl? Definitely the Miguel, you know, like you know, just go for it. Miguel just went for it. You know, he had confidence. He's a Cobra Kai. All the babes wanted to do Cobra Kai. So just go for it. A high school music fan. I just keep getting better, dude. Yeah. Listen, I, I love all of it. I, I love all of it. Cobra Kai, Star Wars, high school musical. It's awesome. I love to doodle and draw when I get anxiety and people call me gay because I draw pictures of rainbows. It's so sad because I, just like rainbows because I love color. Yeah, it's 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 so ridiculous. Like, Tyler, you can't listen to that. You draw pictures of rainbows because you like rainbows. What's the matter with liking rainbows? That has nothing to do with anything. You just like rainbows. So keep drawing rainbows. Keep doodling and drawing because if it helps when you get anxiety, then that's great. It doesn't matter what they say. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that they say that, you know, I'm sorry that they say that. that's like, screw them. Elliot Tom's Eagle Fang mo fans. My mom has cancer. Don't feel lonely because we're Cobra Kai for life and we're here for you. I'm so sorry that for both of you guys, um, because of that, I'm sorry that <laughs> that's so tough. Jeez. We're here for you. Yeah. I got called weak. Because I have a blood blood disorder, then I said, "Okay, let's have an arm wrestle," and I won. Oh wow, cool! There you go. You you prove them wrong. I love that. I love that. High School Musical. I was too old to like that one. You're never too old to like High School Musical. But that's awesome. I love that story. You see, you know, 
you, you, you stood up for yourself. You know, they said you couldn't do it. They said you were weak and you said, no, I'm going to prove you wrong. And you prove them wrong. I'm sure none of them are calling you weak now. And you did that with a blood disorder. That's, that's amazing. That, that, that should inspire a lot of people. Besides my great work on my YouTube channel, thank you. What activities do I do in my daily life to keep balance between what I do with my channel and my regular life? Uh, I do a bunch of stuff. Um, I do a bunch of stuff. I play basketball. Um, I play music. I play the guitar, the piano, the ukulele. I like to sing. Um, I, I've been going to the gym. I like to exercise. I like to take hikes. Uh, weather's not too great now, so haven't been doing that. But once it gets nicer out, take hikes. I like to move it, move it. Sorry, just got stuck in my head. I like to uh, watch TV. I've been getting into reading more, reading the Karate Kid novelizations. I'm reading Karate Kid 3 actually right now. Um, what else do I like to do in my daily life? Um... You know, my daily life is is very very me focused. You know, I I I'm usually doing things on my own. So it's kind of just like learning to love myself. Sometimes I, you know, I get hard on myself. I forget like to love myself, you know, because I'm so upset or lost with my balance and all that. That's, that's the most important thing is to love yourself, especially if, you know, if I believe it's more important to, you know, it, you shouldn't, you shouldn't surround yourself with negative people in your life. It's better to be by yourself than to, to surround yourself with negative people in your life or people who don't really care about you. So that's, that's how I feel. And, you know, I've, I had to do a lot of soul searching and I'm, I'm doing that right now. I'm, I really need to do that right now. Um, you know, to deal with just like, you know, when I am on my own, when I'm doing things by myself, uh, when I'm, yeah. So that's something that I'm trying to figure out. And, you know, as I mentioned, I'm going to do this meditation thing uh, one-on-one -on -one meditation thing. Hopefully that might get me set straight, you know, take some hikes, you know, clear my mind, close my eyes, balance. Life is good. Life is positive. You're here on this earth. You can make a difference. You know, if I'm going to be here, if I'm going to be like on this earth, like might as well do some good stuff. And, you know, when I feel stressed out, it's like, it makes me want to like, I have to remember, like, what am I trying to accomplish? Like, what, what, what do I want to do? What do I want to be remembered by, you know? And that's, that's why, you know, I like doing these streams, these discussions, you know, helping you guys, you know, like if, if, if I can help one of you guys, you know, it, it helps me. It makes me feel good. Um, doing my charity streams and my interviews, you know, I don't, I don't want to like, you know, I don't like to like mention that. Oh, I do like the, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to get credit for that or anything. I don't, that's not what I care about. You know, I just feel like it's a really nice thing to help other people. So that's why I like to do that. Um, if I, if I have this channel, if I have this platform, I can use it for positivity and by getting these, um, incredibly, um, the, these incredible actors who people look up to and, um, having, this platform where we can like spread awareness to different charities and um, fundraisers. You know, we, we raise money, we've raised money for the ocean conservancy homes for our troops, St. Jude's, you know, all these different organizations that, you know, that, you know, could use our help. And um, because I have this platform, I'm like, you know, I could, I could do something good here. And that's what I, try and do, you know, not just upload videos and that's it. Like, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to be remembered for good stuff. And I want to, I want to, I want to help people out, you know, you know, that makes me feel good. Like, you know, helping others, you know, 
is also a good way of finding balance. Um, you know, it's like, I always consider like when I play basketball, I'd rather get an assist than a basket because if I'm passing the ball to someone who scores, I'm happy, but so is that person because they scored and I got the assist. But if I were to just score by myself, then I'm the only one who's happy. So always go for that assist first. Ninja, I've seen your channel since 2020. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cobra Kai gave me happiness recently. We we're basically in lockdown here in Canada and it got really depressed, but watching Cobra Kai with my sister was one of the good things. That's so great. I'm happy to hear. How can I come out to my parents? Well, okay, so that's a that's big. That that's a big one. Um, I can't really tell you how to do that. I don't want to tell you exactly how to do that. That's going to be up to you, but I will say, you know, you should tell your parents if you feel comfortable and, you know, just be confident. And, um, you know, if, if, if they love you for who you are, they'll support you and, you know, you just got to do it when you're ready and be confident in yourself and know that no matter what happens, you're going to be okay. And that's who you are. And you're not going to change. That's who you are. You're going to be true to yourself. Arian says, when things get tough for me, I just start drawing and making some art and it helps me a lot. So find what you love doing and trust me, it's going to outweigh your, ne your negatives. Yeah. And Arian, you're a great artist. So, um, yeah, definitely I keep sharing your art online and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, because you, you, have, you have a talent there, so keep up with that. Corey's fun videos. I'm just so glad I came across this channel of yours because all your content you create are amazing and you're a very nice person. Support everyone and you do great things in life. Cobra Kai kid. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice, Corey. Thank you. Thank you. Great stuff I do in my spare time morning to love yourself. That's a line from a famous Whitney Houston song. Oh, what Whitney Houston song? I love Whitney Houston. And I. What position do I play in basketball? I played point guard. Love point guard. Philly. Philly Jose, I love your videos because they could keep me entertained while I wait for a new season. Awesome. So glad. So glad it's doing that for you. Eagle Fang fans, your YouTube channel inspired me to do my own channel, not to hide my cancer or my diagnosis. I want to grow up like you. We love you. Yet you, you, you don't need to hide it. You know, you're you're you probably like right now, you're probably inspiring so many people by by being brave and by admitting that, that like, well, look at you, like, you know, you have cancer and you're, you're still doing this YouTube channel. You're, you're not giving up. That that's really awesome. That's really brave. What is the meaning of life? <sighs> that's a little too philosophical. I, I will leave that up to interpretation. Uh, Elliot says, do I ever feel like there are mean people out there who can get whatever they want? And when you're kind, you get th these setbacks. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. That definitely happens where people, you know, are mean. And then you see like, oh, what? Like, why are they are so mean? They are not good people. And they're still having this nice thing happen to them. And look at where I am. I'm such a nice person. I've done nice things, you know. It, it's like the idea of karma. It's you believe if you do good stuff, good things will happen to you. If you don't do good things, bad things will happen. But sometimes overall, for the most part, karma, there is good karma. You do good things, good things will happen. But sometimes there's people out there who will do bad things and they just get away with it. And ultimately, I don't believe that 
if if people are doing bad things, I don't think they'll get away with it forever. So if if there's an instance where you see someone get away with something for doing something bad, they're going to keep doing that bad thing and eventually it's going to catch up to them. And you're going to keep doing the right thing. You're going to keep doing nice stuff. And that's not going to... You're going to keep doing nice stuff and I promise you it's going to all... It's going to all um, come together. Love this community. Thank you for being so helpful. Great community. It really is a great community. If Silver told me to pack my bags and come to the Cobra Kai Dojo, would I quit my channel? If Silver told me to come to the dojo, I'm coming to the dojo. <laughs> I wouldn't quit the channel. I would do um, I would I would I would vlog from the dojo, but I would definitely go. Hey guys, we're here uh at the Cobra Kai Dojo. We got Terry Silver in the back. He looks like he's about to kill me, so I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys after class. <laughs> hey guys, I got a I got a bit of a bloody nose. Silver just punched me in the face because I wasn't paying attention to the lesson, but it's all good. We'll see you next time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably how it would go. After my wrist surgery, I've been in a blank load of pain and, or, yeah, I don't want to say it. And binge watching Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3 helped me a lot. Very interesting seeing the characters develop. Um, what? For example, Johnny. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, those movies are definitely a good way to um to to feel better and to ease pain. So I'm glad you watched that. Aryan, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the interviews, the amazing projects, the contests. This channel literally keeps me entertained every time till another season comes out. Thank you, Aryan. And we got another interview coming. Uh, I'm working on a big interview. I'm working on an interview. Um, but I do have an interview this Thursday, um, this upcoming Thursday. It is not going to be live. It will be pre-recorded, but um, I'm very excited for that. And then it'll come out soon. So excited for that interview. One way I try and find balance is keeping things light with humor in bad situations. It's getting a lot harder with some of the curveballs life's been throwing of late. Thanks for providing a distraction. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Sometimes humor, laughing definitely um helps you find balance you know i like to sometimes watch tv shows that make me laugh um make me smile you know i've been i've been actually rewatching fuller house because it's it's just a feel good show so that's kind of what i've needed now so it's it's that's that's what i've enjoyed doing I love that. <laughs> Did Thomas Ian Griffith see my silver parody? I know his wife shared it and praised it. Yeah, he, he saw it. He liked the tweet. I didn't get like an official statement from him, like what he actually thought about it, but he liked my tweet. So I know he saw it, which is really cool. Uh, I don't live close to there, so I, I'm not, unfortunately. I wish, but. Okay. Yeah, Bob Saget. That, that, that's one of the reasons why I actually started to rewatch it. I was like, it, 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 it shocked me. Like that news was so devastating. So I was like, you know what? Let me put on an episode of Fuller House and just to see him, you know, again. And then I just ended up rewatching. So every time he comes on screen, it's very, very sad. 
I should start a podcast one day if I have time. Like, I'm definitely going to be doing more live streams and things, you know, to to talk to you guys. Um, I've been doing a lot, but we'll do some more. We'll keep doing it. So we'll keep doing these discussions and fun stuff. So, okay, we're going to wrap up at 9.45 p.m. Eastern time, which is like four minutes from now. So if you guys have any last things, last questions, last any advice things that you guys want um, to talk about, you know, before you go, then we'll, we'll talk about it. I've got to go to do homework, sadly. Thank you for the stream and answer my comments. See you next time. See you, Tylee. Thank you for coming in. Freddie Fernandez, I also heard from another friend of mine that she wants to only be friends for everyone right now. So I think I'll wait about a month till I ask her out. She hasn't dated anyone since last year. Yeah, I mean, maybe wait it out. Yeah, wait it out. And then, you know, when when you think she's ready, when you hear, like, maybe ask her friend or someone. Like, did she say she's ready? Like, you know, you know, don't force it. Don't force it, you know. Be confident, but also, you know, if she's not ready to go out, she's not ready to go out. Me says, okay, I have the most important exams in my life in March, and I just can't get any studying done. Any advice? Well, March, right now we're in February, so you have a month. So you have a lot of time. They're important exams, so what you got to do is – plan 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 don't just like study and don't just study right away and like go be all over the place oh i'm doing this i'll study at 10 o'clock at night then tomorrow and then the day before i'll study no like you want to um plan everything out plan out what your goal is you know plan out the days you want to study how much you want to study the, the times that you want to study just so you make sure you're not doing it at last minute. Um, and listen, if you, if, if it helps to do a little bit each day, then that's good. You could do a little bit each day and maybe it won't be so overwhelming. So you got this, you got this. Elliot, I have this friend at karate. Should I ask her out? I'm kind of worried she thinks I'm weird. You got to be confident. You got to be confident in yourself. I know it's tough. I know it's tough, but be confident in yourself. You know, you have to, once you exceed that confidence, she's going to see that. So, listen, if you guys are getting along well, then go for it. If you're getting along well, you know, you know, talk to her, get to know her. If things are going well, then shoot the question the asking out not marriage you're a little too young for that <laughs> usually i find my balance but my grades are good and i know there's another cover guy season there you go there you go right there i should do another interview with dallas young well Here's what I have to say about that. But I like that. I like that. And also. Hey, I like that. Oh, I like that, Johnny. I'm going to use that. That's all I'll say about that. Ah, ha, ha. So. Okay, it's hit that time. It has hit that time. Everyone, thank you all for joining. Now, I don't want you to think that, oh, I didn't answer. I didn't ask a question. I'm never going to get to ask a question. I'm going to be doing more live streams. And even if I'm doing a Cobra Kai related live stream, if you guys still need to talk about something shoot a comment in the live chat or in the regular chat 
if I see it, I'll try and answer it. Sometimes I can't always answer it. That's why I do these specific streams because sometimes it's tough, you know, when I am talking about Cobra Kai to get to those questions. But if if you want some more advice on stuff, you know, shoot those questions. If I see, I'll try and answer it. And I will also be doing more of these streams. I will, will the next one will be on a different topic. So we've done. And if you guys want to go back and watch the other ones, maybe the other ones would be insightful. If you guys have had trouble with anxiety, depression, and fear, that that's a big one um, that we talked about. Then I did another one on bullying. That was a big one. And then this one, finding balance, which is one that I've really wanted to do for a while. This stream is something I've really wanted to do for a while. Talk about finding balance. It's It's a constant struggle. It's a constant fight. I, as soon as I end this stream, I'm going to go try and find my balance. You know, tomorrow I have to find my balance the day after, but you know, I'll do it. I'll get by and you guys will too. And we're in it together. We're all in it. We're all Cobra Kai kid. We're all Cobra Kai kid and Cobra Kai never dies. I'm not going to end it like that, but you guys know it. We're all here together. We're all in the same boat. Look at all these comments. Everyone's going through their own things. But all this support is really bringing us together where for this these two hours, you know, we were really able to hopefully accomplish a lot, hopefully able to feel a little bit better. Sometimes you can't completely um, just – you can't flip on a dime. You know, that's not going to happen sometimes. Sometimes it does. But if you guys feel a little bit better – just a little bit and that's the right step forward you know always make sure you're moving forward and when you find yourself starting to move back remind yourself ask yourself why are you moving back and and remind yourself to to keep moving forward to keep pushing forward and to never give up to do your thing to be you and always find that balance and as, as Mr. Miyagi says... You remember this one about the balance? Eh? Yeah. A lesson not just karate only. Lesson for whole life. Whole life have a balance. Everything be better. Very true. Everything will be better. And you find that balance and you will do it. I know you will. I'm proud of you. You're going to do it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be great. You are great. And you're going to be more great. And you're going to feel great always. We're going to talk more. We're going to do more of these streams soon. But for now, remember to feel good about yourself. Because you are awesome. You are Cobra Kai. And Cobra Kai never, ever. Bye, guys.